We are now on Rich Creek Road for two miles. Getting in higher elevation. So beautiful. see <laughs> sorry about that I was trying to show I was on my right but all you can see is the fan window there that might work better up here closer to where she's at the prettier it gets a little more remote too it's God's country the wooden fence there Barefoot seamstress. Okay. In a quarter mile, Some cows back there. Charlie Mountain Road. A farm. Here, we're coming up on Charlie Mountain Road. See? Ooh. You can see the top of the other mountain. Take the next left on the Charlie Mountain Road. Charlie Mountain Road, this left. Okay, if you go 7.6 miles the other way, you are in Tiger, Georgia. Charlie Mountain, Charlie Mountain Road. Road. Four miles. Four miles. Uh, this is the road that goes around the lake, or by it. Maybe not all the way around it, but by it. It's beautiful out here. How many times have I said that in the last five minutes? Actually, they found years ago when she was, uh, before she was grown, um, like you could get spring, there was like a spring, and it was, I don't know how it got to it, through the rocks or, or somehow, but anyway, they would go up there and get fresh water. So that was pretty cool. up here was from coming I took uh, some side roads over to Highway 9 uh, took Highway 9 up to Dawsonville and then went up just turned right on Forest Creek Road to uh, Georgia 400 till it ended then you just go up a few miles and turn right on uh, Highway 115 over to, to, to Cleveland then you turn left on Appalachian Parkway make a couple turns which brings you up this way. Uh, I can't remember all the roads. I have I can look at my map, but not right now. I almost have it memorized, though. I'm starting to recognize places. Problem is, probably won't be up here again for a long time. Renee's been up here taking care of her uh, father and stepmother, help helping them. Of the stepmother had surgery on her. Heart, she had heart surgery and her father's 
uh, bless his heart, he's 94 years old. So uh, she was in the hospital for quite a while, so she came up to look after her dad and to help her stepmother uh, after she came home from having surgery. She had quite a hard time, but now she's got a clean bill of health. They've got helpers coming in um, three times a week, and then uh, and then 1st of July, which is only 12 days away, she'll have more help coming in. Uh, so they'll be in pretty good shape so she can get back to um, her life and take care of her health. I know she loves being up here, but there's nothing like sleeping in your own bed. Being able to watch what you want to watch on television. It's really hard um, being a caregiver when you're isolated without, you know, she didn't have transportation up here um, for certain, you know, multiple reasons uh, and it's just hard when you know her stepmother was in the hospital so it's just her and her dad she couldn't go anywhere uh, you know even to get groceries I guess you know she had to have someone come take her to the store and then she could leave him for an hour or two to go to the grocery store but uh, you know it's just constant I took care of my dad um, and I you know I wasn't alone with him 24 hours a day for for a month or anything I had my, you know my mother would come home from work in the evening and and um, my sister was only a couple miles away. And, you know, so I had family around, so it was a little easier. But it gets very, very hard. They they had the sundowner syndrome, or they you know they get um, there's they they get um, very hard to handle. They they it's almost like they get into a type of uh, I don't know how to what the word would be like you have uh, uh, episodes or something like that. Oh, that lake is so beautiful right there. People were swimming in it, boats out. So she needs a break. It's very hard uh, when you can't get a break. And, you know, uh, sometimes you just can't even sit down. Uh, it's hard to even go take a shower sometimes. Just have to constantly be on, on the watch and take, you know, cooking and getting their meals, getting their medicines, and, and just keeping up with them. There's no telling where they might walk off to. You really have to. Um, keep your eye on them at all times and then with a, so another person you know recovering from surgery who needs help uh, you know and uh, she's a diabetic so you have to um, make sure she has the right foods and and you know prepare their meals well she's a good cook uh, she really had it down she was working with the uh, case workers and stuff to uh, make arrangements for them to have more care so that was great so she did a good job, and now it's time for her to, to get her break, to get a rest. And she's confident that they'll have help. I think I'm supposed to turn left here. Not there. Up on this road. Take the next left onto US 76 West. Okay. So if you go to the right, you'll be on Timson Creek Farm. So we're at, on the outskirts of Clayton, Georgia. We're going up into the mountain. Higher up into the mountain, shall we say? Continue on US 76 West for three quarters of a mile. Yeah, I think we're going to be turning on Persimmon Road pretty soon. But I sure wish I still had my father. My father died when he was 71 years old. Um, he didn't die from Alzheimer's. He, he died of uh, cancer of the soft palate. But he did have heart trouble as well which may have contributed to the dementia. I'm just not sure. So make sure that you spend all the time you can with your family because you never know how long you're going to have them. She's really been blessed to have her father. Till, you know, he's 94 and still with us. Pretty sweet man. Okay, I'm going to be turning right up here. Persimmon Road, 500 feet. That's where I want to go. Take the next right onto Persimmon Road. Okay. Continue on Persimmon Road for two miles. I laugh because there's a um, there's a road up here. I think it's called Devil's Branch, and there's a church. Uh, I don't know if it's Church of God or if it's just a church anyway. So the name of the road is like Devil's Branch Church. 
So I'm sure they get teased about that a lot. They probably have a lot of Christian sayings, you know, like, um, um, you know, something about they're going to defeat the devil or something. But anyway, it's cute. Uh, coming, up, coming up on a fire station. Tallulah Persimmon Fire Department, number three. Okay, I'm going to get her back on my side of the road. So we're going to go up here and turn right on Persimmon Creek Road. Oh, there's a car behind me. But I'm just going to keep the camera on. What the heck. I'm going to be turning here in a minute. I'm about to lose my... Sig my direction signal but I know where I'm at now so it won't matter this might be the road up here okay I'm gonna turn it down gonna lower the camera just so you can still see a little bit that's Turkey Mountain Road I'd like to go up there following me. I didn't want it to follow me. Darn. Well, you know what? It's too bad. He's got to, sh I got to share the road with him, but I just like to be by myself so I can film. I wanted, this is what I wanted to film the most, is this road, because it's the prettiest ever. We're real close now. We're just about five minutes away. Get out the road. There you go. Okay. Keep going. Alright. Put the phone down a little bit. I hate to do that because it's where I want to film. There's some cows over there. Wish I didn't have to have this truck behind me. I want to film this road. I know I need to get a thing for my phone. Alright. See there's crossing this little bridge. Little creek down there. I don't know if that 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 might actually be for Simmon Creek. I think it is. Oh, I don't think a tractor trailer could get through here at those low power lines. Barely get a camper through. Oh, there, there's that creek. Okay. Now. Whoa! About dropped the phone. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there's this. I know you can't see it, so why am I doing that? Uh, I have to go past their driveway and turn around at, at this vineyard. Um, this is just some very multi-million dollar properties up here. Her father owns seven acres up here. Lots of nice woodsy property. He used to, he used to be a hunter, so he was all about hunting. He built their house at their end. 
He's, he was quite uh, quite the handyman. Very knowledgeable, hard working. He taught Renee how to work hard. Some people can't handle working that hard. Oh, see, this is this is awesome. My dad worked hard too. He was a fighting CB in the World War II in the Navy, the construction brigade. He taught people how to swim. He went he went to Okinawa. Um, then he um, so he then he he built houses and then when he got out he was in the um, demolition business so he would build houses and tear them down <laughs> and then um, he was a truck driver oh he was a fab he was a welder at uh, Rouserville fabricating and welding um, then he he was an owner operator truck driver did that for many many years um, he moved the family to Florida where um, so my family still lives and my sister is going back that way the one that's I have a sister that's in New York State she's trying to get back to Florida um, there's waiting on some business to be taken care of some paperwork to be signed um, and then uh, after that he was a tankerman on this on the tugboat that would haul oil up and down the St. John's River and he was the cook on the boat then he uh, he retired from that, and he still did some part-time truck driving. And my my youngest, my brother, I have a, one year younger than I am. Uh, he would they worked together for a while, driving truck uh, through Florida, you know, in, in inside mile, the state of Florida. Will be on the left. And he he would he taught me how to maintain my car. Oh, I need to go this way. This is where I messed up before. Okay. dad built his house. Uh, my brother uh, Brad, he's five years older than me. He owns it now. He bought the property from my mother after my father passed Your away. My mother and I moved to Kalatka so she could be closer to her doctors in the hospital and the dialysis center because she she was on dialysis the last couple years of her life. Okay, I'm about to be at my friend's house but I have to go up here and turn around at this vineyard because the driveway right there is pretty steep. But I think this is God's country. turn around for this beautiful place and take a peek of that there's a big house up there <laughs> try to get a picture of it I don't know if you can see it or not there's a big mansion up there okay I'm just using this driveway to turn around make sure nobody's coming Okay. Uh, no. Turning around. So Renee and I are a couple of Georgetown girls. Grew up in the country. So she is a river. She calls herself a river rat. She can fish. She can take care of herself. I'll tell you something. She could survive on her own. She's a tough woman. She can take lemons and make lemonade. Not only lemonade, but maybe Mike's Heart lemonade. Hey, whoops. Okay. Headed up this driveway. Oh, somebody's here. Maybe a nurse or something. Maybe a caregiver. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. I'm here. Probably won't film on the way back because I'll have company. <laughs> 